Hello guys, I'm here again. I'm just going to show you how I mix my pigment and this little piggy um, using the palette sleeper and I'll show you how I mix it. So I normally use my gloss gel um, as a binder. So I got it from Amazon. I'm going to leave the link in the description box. So first I just use, I put some, just a squirt like this. This is to wet the pigment. So first I'll wet the pigment with this one and then I add my pouring medium and I let it sit for oh, at least overnight. So all the bubble get disappeared. And then I use next day. You can see the lovely pigment here, palette slipper. So I add a little bit more and then just mix it, just wet. You might have to use the mask um, because you don't want to breathe in the pigments. So you use the mask when you mix. So as you can see, it started mixing, it started getting wet. It does look like now you can see it looks like a tube paint so that's what you need you need to wet this one and make like a pest before you adding your pouring medium because if you don't have a binder it, won't, it will not work like an acrylic you need it, some kind of to bind the pigments together so it works well so that's done. Now I'm going to add the pouring medium. To the, when you mix it, as long as you mix for a long time, I think it's better. So the longer time you mix, it is it binds well. It's a lovely color to be honest. So now I'm going to use my pouring medium. I don't measure my pouring medium because I know what consistency I'm going for. But you might have to measure what's Shelly re recommended. So I'm adding pouring medium now. If I need more, I will add more. Get everything out from the side, mix it properly. I've just done it. I haven't mixed too much I'm just because I wanted to show you so normally when I mix I have normally half of this tub which lasts long so you see this one this is what consistency you need you don't need to pin this one that's what you're looking for it's not mixed properly you can see so keep stirring until they're all same consistency and 
need a tiny bit more pouring medium. Just a tiny bit I'm going to add because I'm going to leave it all night so it will thin as uh, um thick as well. And that's it. But as long as long as you mix it gets it binds well with each other and you can see the consistency what I'm going for now So I'm going to lean this one now and I'll, I'll mix it back again every time when you use it just mix it you can see there are a few bubbles I'm not sure you can see those or not but there's a few bubbles there on the top which I which will disappear overnight once if I leave it overnight so I'm going to leave it now at least overnight or few hours good few hours if you leave it it will go away so i'm going to leave it now and this is the, my final consistency so this is what you need you need a gloss medium wet the pigment with the gloss medium and then add your pouring medium make sure you mix it well before adding pouring medium so that's it and um, then you can use it next day thank you for watching guys and i hope it helps when you mix your pigments thank you